everybody, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for those of you that are subscribed, thank you so much. Welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing an easy peasy old school ring pour. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so I have my canvas here. It is a 16 by 20. And I thought I would um, change it up a bit as far as covering. Instead, a lot of people use white and black. I am changing it up and I am using um, a metallic bronze. It's aged bronze. Um, kind of interested to see, you know, what happens if it, um, you know, how it reacts with the other colors on top of it. Um, so, um, you know, you can change up your colors. You don't always have to use black and white. So let's see what goes, what happens here. And you don't have to, you know, have your, your canvas covered perfectly because I'm going to be doing the ring pour over it and also make sure that it is not too thick because then you're gonna have cracking so no one wants their paint to, to crack okay guys so I'm getting my paint here in the cup and all my paints are mixed with Liquitex pouring medium, um, Floetrol, and water. That is the normal pouring medium that I um, use for most of my uh, most of my paints. And um, these colors, the um, copper and the gold, are leftover paints from a couple of my previous pours. I thought I would uh, try to use them up. We'll see they're these really bright pretty extreme sheen uh, paints should be nice and shiny and then of course there's some Payne's gray which I love it's one of my uh, favorite colors if you don't really like to use black but you want a dark color Payne's gray is the way to go all right so there's the first cup Okay guys, so I've got my first cup. Now each cup that I poured, I um, I went, I started with copper, you guys probably saw copper, and then gold, and then blue. The next cup I went with gold, blue, or Payne's gray, and then copper. The third cup I started with Payne's gray, and I kind of rotated like that. So this is the first cup. Oh, and the colors, um, I said I had used them from previous pours. They are from some long canvas pours that I did. And um, if you're interested, go check those out. They're super cool, bright and shiny colors. All right, so here we go.
Okay guys, so the painting is dry and I really am super happy with my results. The lines are amazing. It really, really helps when you have the right paint consistency. You do not want it to be too thin. Now, you don't want it to be too thick either, but a nice um, middle ground. Um, and layering your paints is key. Um, so, like I said, I really love the defined lines. And when I poured them, I alternated the colors in each cup. Um, so I think that helped give each puddle that I poured um, uh, offsetting colors, I guess, if you will. They were just, ro the colors had rotated. And with the middle um, puddle, I could see that when I was stretching it, that it had this really, really cool design. So I don't know if you could tell, and if you missed it, go back and watch. But I had I was stretching it because I could see it in my mind uh, and on the canvas at the same time. So I was tilting it because I wanted to save that middle um, part and stretch that out just a little. And I love the composition. I think the three um, puddles came together so nice. And so I'm really curious to know what you guys think about it. I did uh, cover the canvas you saw with um, something different, a different color besides black and white. And I kind of love how those colors all meshed um, and blended together. So um, I hope you guys really love this painting. And if you love metallics, I have a couple other awesome videos. Click right here and I'll catch you in the next video.